Well, hello. I bet you wonder what I'm doing with my day today. <laughs> well, as you can see, I'm in the garden. I've been um, doing a little yard work out here, and I'm so glad that you've stopped by for a visit. Um, I want to talk to you about a video I put out Friday. It was, um, I called it Fairy Hunt. Grandma Sandy had a challenge for fairy gardens. And since I've never really done a fairy garden, even though I have plans to do one, um, I've never actually put a fairy garden together. So that was fun for me. Thank you, Grandma Sandy, for the challenge. It was, it was a good fun. But anyway, in the comments, I had some questions about one of the plants that we walked past. That's my sweet reed. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story about that sweet reed. I was introduced to that plant by my husband. Uh, my husband is from Zimbabwe. That's a different culture. And so sometimes plants have different names. And I know that's true because he was telling me about Thunga for a long time. Turns out that's mustard greens. And so I've been having like a little mystery about what is this plant? I know it has to be something that we have here. And I've been looking and looking and I might have an answer. I think it's a member of the grass family. And as a matter of fact, I have three plants that are part of the grass family. <laughs> and some of you have them too. <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at my plants that I know are in the grass family. And also we're gonna take a good look at my sweet reed too. So uh, come on, let's get to it. This is a very popular plant, and I know quite a few of you are growing this because I've seen it in your gardens. This is corn. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and take a look at the youngest corn I have, and then we'll come back and talk about this. Okay, that's a little corn. It's not even as big as my fingertip. But I know this is the corn. That's one thing that I've learned is how to tell corn when it's little. So let's talk about the corn just a little bit. When we start corn, we start it from seed. This is from last year. So we just keep them kind of wrapped. And we just use the ones from last year. It's not the corn that we're used to, though. These seeds came from, um, the original seeds came from, uh, Zimbabwe, where Quiet's sister was able to send us some. They grow. You see the stalk on this? We're going to look at the stalk because there's, there's a difference between this and our and its other grass cousin I have in the yard. When this matures, it'll have a tassel at the top. And we'll come back and visit these again when they've matured a little bit. The next grass cousin I'm going to talk about is sugarcane. And this is sugarcane right here. Still kind of young, but it's not as young as it could be. It's like a yard or so tall. And let's go look at a mature plant. This is one of our mature sugar canes. I don't think it's quite ready to cut though. Quiet would have to, well. There's a couple that might be ready to cut. And let me show you what they call the seed here. When we get ready to regrow sugarcane or to start a new plant, we cut this. You see the sections on the stalk? It looks a lot like corn in here, doesn't it? But when it's a little more mature, like this down in there, you see the sections on the stalk? And you see the little nodules, or the little nodes there. That's where the new plants have come from. This is one that we just cleared a while ago. Can I get it where, is that clear? Yeah, that's pretty clear. And that's how you start new sugar cane. Um, I've seen on TV where they put this in water until it sprouts roots. But we just stick it in the ground and we've been pretty lucky to come up with sugarcane every time. 
okay this is the youngest sweet reed we have in the garden and i have to let it get kind of big because this one i can't really tell that well because this is grass right here and this is a sweet reed let's take a look at some of the more mature and this is our more mature sweet reed i didn't give you a good look at this You'll notice that this stalk is, is a lot thinner. I can keep the little leaves out of the way. You'll notice the stalk is a lot thinner here than the corn. Yeah. Of course it's not as mature as, as it's gonna get because it will also put a tassel up top and it produces seeds. Let me show you what it what the seeds look like. And that's what those seeds look like. Let's turn them over a little bit. They're cute, aren't they? And this is what we plant to get sweet reed. Well, I do have some good news for you. I might have a name for this from um, the internet. According to what the seeds look like and pictures of the plant, this could be sorghum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue growing it and comparing as it goes, and we'll come back and take a look at this as well. We'll keep an eye on the sweet reed, possibly sorghum, and the corn this year, and we'll just kinda compare back and forth every once in a while as they grow, and we'll see what I've got going on here. <laughs> well, well, we'll keep an eye on the sugar cane too, because over there it looks like small sweet reed, right? Yeah, but it's sugar cane. So we'll just keep an eye on those for later. Well, that's all I have for today. I need to finish up my watering. And so for now, I'm gonna have to say goodbye, okay? I wanna thank you for spending some time with me. And uh, <laughs> yeah, until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.